Hello, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful and amazing night. So I wanted to take this opportunity to answer a couple of questions that I received from one of my followers. So here it is. How old are you? I'm 44 years old. Why are you single? I am single because I made the decision to be single. It's a choice so that I can work on myself. I was in a relationship that was very toxic. I was in a relationship where I didn't know how to handle my emotions. I mean, the list can go on and on. So instead of jumping on to another relationship that was bound to be toxic because I was at that particular time in my life, I decided to work on me. I decided to notice everything that I need to change within me and start making moves to elevating myself and being a better person for not only myself, but for the next relationship that I'm in. I've gotten into counseling. I've been in counseling for like, even when I was in the relationship and I'm still in counseling. I meditate a lot. Um, you know, I have to sit in myself, sit with myself, shall I say, in order for me to recognize myself, to love myself, you know? So that's why I'm single. I'm single because I'm single and I'm not ready to mingle, okay? <laughs> because I'm not even emotionally ready for that. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm single. Uh, why would a high value man want you? A high value man would want me because I'm the shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but no, I do consider myself a high value woman. So a high value man would want me because although I don't have it all together because we are all a work in progress, I have my own everything. And I'm established. I I don't look for anything from my significant other except love compassion respect happiness peace you know uh, open communication you know respect so a high value man will will jump at the opportunity for me because not only am i all those other things that I just mentioned, but I have a personality. I am myself. I don't have to operate and be anybody that I, I don't have to try to be anybody that I don't, that I, I just love myself, you know? So I'm going to be myself. So whoever doesn't like me, they can just go to the next person. You understand? So I'm educated. I have a master's degree in human behavior. I have my own business. I help people write their book. I have a book coming out and the list can go on and on. But these are just my attributes that I can contribute to the relationship other than the fact that I'm a down to earth person, other than the fact that I know how to treat a man. You know, I know how to treat a man because it comes from my heart. You know, I love very strong. And when I love you, I love you. And I'm going to have your back always. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to always have your back. And we're just going to be a power couple. And that's that's just what it is. Um, Why would he choose you over a younger woman? I think that a man would choose me over a younger woman because I'm not about games. I'm not about playing games. I'm not about being someone that, I, that I'm not. I'm not about, you know, using people. I'm, I'm already established, meaning like I have my, I, I'm not looking for anything. Like, I'm not looking for anything other than a person's love a person's realness, a person's respect for not only me, but themselves as well. Um, family oriented, like people, I think that younger females are just looking for what they can get, what they can take from, uh, from people. And it's just the mindset. The mindset of an older woman is totally different than a younger woman, you know? And... 
I think that older women are not about games. They know what they want. And me personally, if I don't see what I want in you, then I'm just not going to play with it. But a lot of these younger females, they'll see a man with a nice car or they'll see a man with their own business or they see, you know, they see all the materialistic things and um, that's what they base their interaction with that man with. And and I just don't do that. And I, I don't think older women do that either. And what can you do to be a higher value woman? So in order for me to be a higher value woman, because I already consider myself as a high value woman, is to continue to elevate, continue to learn, continue to stay, just to stay educated and be teachable, be teachable, be coachable, surround myself around people who have already have what I want, like meaning multiple businesses multiple books that have been written, just people that are about their business. I must surround myself around high value people in order to be a higher value person. And also when I'm not around those people, it's always something to learn every single day. I cannot stop learning. I cannot stop elevating. I have to place myself in uncomfortable situations, uncomfortable um, conversations in order for me to elevate. And sometimes God does that for us. He places us in an uncomfortable situation so that we can push out of this norm that we're in, push ourselves out of what we're just, where we're complacent. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to elevate by surrounding myself around people that are already established and where I want to be and have an open mind and an open ear to everything. I want to consume everything that I can learn. And that's it. I hope I answered your questions. Have a wonderful night.